So we've just come to check out Lake Road Conservation Park Game Reserve. Let's have a look at this lake. Let's see if we can camp there. It's super peaceful, but we've come across some stinky slush. So this is the Robe Game Reserve and back this way with me is the campsites. Uh, we haven't seen them yet but we'll, we'll go check them out. The Gums Campground is 3 hours and 46 minutes out of the Adelaide CBD. 338 kilometres, half an hour from Kingston South East. At the Gums Campground there are 5 non-powered sites. You'll need to bring your own drinking water. There's a toilet but it's a bit far away and you'll need to take your rubbish with you. Okay everyone, so we've made it to the Gums Campground, uh, which is uh, just outside of Brobe, and we're gonna go have a look and check out the campsites. Campsite one is the first campsite as you enter. It's opposite campsite two and quite private. So you can set up here and be very comfortable with your surroundings. Just watch out in the warmer months, as this campground doesn't have a lot of tall trees, so you want lots of shade. From the 360 degree view, you can see straight away and tell that it's private and sheltered from the other sites. All in all, a very nice campsite. Looking at campsite two, which is opposite to campsite one, also very private. It is deeper in size than campsite one, but both campsites one and two are the closest to the toilet. And they are both flat, which makes setting up easier. Plenty of room for the car and tents and camper trailers. Even if you don't want to park your car into the campsite, there's plenty of parking on the side of each site. So if you want to use up the whole space of that campground, you can. All right, let's go check out the other side of the campground. There are three sites on this site. These sites also share a common ground. It does have a nice feel about this place and looks way more appealing than on any website or camping guide or app that we've seen. Campsite 3 is not as big as Campsite 1 and 2, but it's really cool. It is just as private and I reckon a bit more lush. And for the kids, there's a little shrub tunnel. This might be a bit of excitement for the youngsters. I'm sure you can make up some story about traveling through time when going through this tunnel or something fun like that. The common ground is a shared area in this part of the campsite. It has a fire pit and a table for use. If you're traveling in a group and still want your own privacy, you can take on campsite 3, 4 and 5 and if you like, you can gather all centrally on this ground and hang out. That way those who want to crack on can stay and hang out and everyone else can hang back, have their own fire, or leave the gathering early. Campsite 4 is far enough away to be private from Campsite 3 and 5, but it is the furthest away from the toilet. It's flat, sheltered, and looks onto the trees of the common ground, which means setting up here, you won't see the people as much using the common grounds as you would on Campsite 3 and 5. Campsite 5, I would say is the less spacious because you've got a tree near the middle. Still enough room to set up and be comfortable, but less private because you're, you're sitting in between the joining row at the main campgrounds. So you'll probably have people walking between you. Not many, but people will walk and drive past you to the toilet or for their day trips. I'm actually quite surprised just how nice and clean this campground is. Also, every site has a fire pit and it's quite private. Really surprised when I checked it out on another reference media. Uh, it was a place that was like a bit, oh, so so, I'm not sure. But yeah, presently, be surprised. Check out this aerial view of sites three, four, and five. Hopefully, you've seen the distance between the sites and what you've got to work with. This campground is literally about 5-10 minutes from the town of Robe where you can stock up and get plenty of supply. 
Let's go back to campsite one and two so we can see the aerial view. There's definitely enough distance between campsite one and campsite two. So if you want to pitch up on your own, that's fine. Also, if you want to set up as a group, you can hang out opposite each other and wave hello. Boy, it's time to go to the facilities now, and in my opinion, it's a long walk even from campsite one, which is the closest. So if you're busting to go in the middle of the night or wanting to take the kids, I would recommend taking a portable toilet. There are heaps of options when it comes to portable toilets. In another clip, I can show you. With that all said, I'm still walking to the toilet. Thankfully, I'm not busting. On approach to the toilet, it's a nice path. Here's a rainwater tank so you can top up and fill up water there, but just for washing up, yeah, not drinking. There's also a shortcut to the picnic ground. The toilet is a drop toilet and it is as clean as it can be, and it is stocked. Well, my business is done, so let's get back to camp and go check out the drive to the beach. We're coming up to the picnic ground, which is on the way to the beach. It's nice. And if you just want to hang out for a spot of lunch, or you're day tripping, or just want to change the scenery, it is nice. Up until this point, it's been two-wheel drive. But from here on in, it's four-wheel drive only. And from a certain point, you'll see it in a minute, that it is pretty, pretty full-on four-wheel driving. Very sandy. Now here's a point where you can only go beyond in four-wheel drive. When we actually got here, there was a family who decided to walk it because they weren't comfortable with doing the four-wheel driving. And they figured out very quickly it was such a long walk and grab a drive back from a car that was passing by. You can walk it if you want, but get ready for a hike and watch out for cars. We didn't film the beach. I want you guys to check that out on your own and see how beautiful it is. We're not gonna show you everything. It's camp by me, we show you campgrounds. But the drive there was awesome. I love forward driving, I love getting into the thick of it. So get on it and get out there. We've just finished up at the Gums Campground. Awesome place. We're excited, I'm excited. The whole location, when we looked at it at reference media, and uh, campground references, uh, the aerial shots and even just general pictures, it doesn't give us enough comfort to actually go there and say we want to stay. When we walked through there, gave you that first person point of view, uh, this, it, just amazing. And we would stay there for a couple of nights. And look, four wheel drive only, you could do it two wheel drive, but I wouldn't recommend it. Certainly not a caravan, just a bit too windy and too tight. Uh, but honestly, um, four wheel drive access to the beach only, unless you want to walk it. Outside of that, thumbs up from us awesome campground, uh, we'll definitely go there. Yeah. We've just finished up at the Gums campground and I'm excited because, because, Yeah, you need to, because then that's how we sync up the video with the sound. Right, got it. I'll so I've got to see the clap. Okay. Clap, clap. Yep. 